Welcome everyone to another Tracks on Sundays. I'm Tracks and Max, and this is another Raid Shadow Legends video. Guys, we're on the Only Voids account again this week. And um Yeah, there's not that much to talk about since last week. We did get a new team offered by the same guy who um provided us the other team. Now I took a look at it real quick and in the calculator he says that it's supposed to work on Brutal Nightmare on Ultra Nightmare, but on Ultra Nightmare, I'm not really getting that result in the calculator, so I'm not too sure about that yet. However, if we would want to try and push some more damage in Nightmare, uh, this team would definitely do that because it has a couple of champions in a 5-3 ratio, um, namely, I think, Arbalester and uh, Eurogrim, or whatever DPS we would want to we would want to put in there, right? But um, I'm I haven't really been looking into all that quite yet because if you recall, last week we had the mission where we had to get a that's not what I was trying to do, where we had to get a six star champion. Actually, why am I going there? Even this is what I wanted to show and ascend them. So a spirit champion, right? Uh, we got this guy ascended to six star. Uh, we got our, what was the blue one again? The demon spawn, right? Yeah, we got her six starred and ascended. And the last one you guys can actually witness because I've got just in time, basically, I got this gal finished here too. And the five. That's fine. And the five five star chickens to go along with it. Now, I gotta say, this was pretty lucky that I actually got this far. And I'll tell you why. Maybe you noticed it, maybe you didn't. But up here, I have 102 gems. So that's, you know, I'm at rock bottom again, basically. I've been putting all my time and effort into, uh, training basically oh, before the training event was going on also i was al already training because otherwise i just didn't have the time to do it just been doing uh brutal 12 3 campaign constantly and in the meanwhile also like doing some artifact enhancement uh you know picking up some energy left and right wherever i could but i was basically at rock bottom and then today our login rewards was 650 energy and i i didn't know about this and i was kind of like hmm am i actually going to make it or not right but uh yeah this 650 energy really helped me push through and get the last five star the last two five star chickens done actually so um yeah kind of lucky there that we <laughs> we're still be able to get that Let's see here see the training right here i've been I mean that's a lot, right? I'm I might as well just push for this book at this point. I probably will, so but yeah, we did all that just to be able to collect our hundred gems here, so that's a little kickback we get now, finally. And then now we can do this mission to get ourselves an extra void shard, right? So let's get the energy here and uh Throw that in there right, real quick. So, right. Done with that. That was pretty fast. I'm only recording less than 15 minutes right now. And we already got this. So, all right. There's a Void Shard. Ascend a Void Champion to level 6 of Ascension. Should be able to do that this week. Let me see who we actually have for that. Hmm. If there's anyone we actually want to bring up to six star. Of course, the other option would be that I actually do build my second Kafru and six star ascend him. However, that's going to take a while again, because obviously I'm out of energy again. I'm out of chickens again. Bringing up one of these five stars would be easier. However, these are not very... 
I don't want to do Rock Beast. I already have one. That should be fine. One at 50, one at 60. I'm not sold on Hollow yet. Uh, Ox has been pretty lame. Not going to lie. And this guy has been pretty lame in my opinion as well. Could also be looking at Veteran so that maybe we have a chance to... I don't know how long Doom Tower is left. Oh, it's only one day left. Yeah, that's not going to work out for us, I'm afraid. We only have one day left. I don't see myself able to get enough five stars with the energy that we have. Very unfortunate, but this was just a, a little tad too hard for me still. I'm sure next rotation we're going to knock this thing out of the park, but for now it doesn't really feel obtainable at all. Yeah. So we do have some energy here. I guess. I guess we just really have to push through and get this six new six star done. But before we do that, I do want to pull a few shards. Not too many. Uh, I'm thinking of maybe pulling three. Basically, I want to have a little summon session if there's another 2x going to come up, right? Like maybe we can build up like 10 or 15 shards or something. I'll probably continue to just pull a few every week. That way we have some chances to build something new that might help us in the, in the long run. Uh, let's see here if there's anything we would like. I guess these are pretty cool, right? We don't have a Sylvan Watcher yet. And, I mean, Krisk is pretty amazing everywhere, so I'll probably do that. I mean, I could wait six hours, I guess, and go for Demitha. I'm pretty sure there's a Demitha coming as well. News, let's see here. Progressive chance. Um, blah, blah, blah. Yep, that's what we have right now. So, Eurogram, we already have, so that's not really a, you know... Don't really think I should build a second Eurogrim. But the Mytha would be pretty damn good, right? The Mytha would be good. But see, the thing is, I don't really know how good she would be right now. If we could build a Ultra Nightmare team because we got the Mytha, then it's definitely worth it. But if that's not the case... um. Yeah, then I don't know how good she's she's gonna be. Now, eventually, she, eventually, the Mytha is always gonna be like a champion you want to have on this account, right? Because she will most definitely be able to fix some kind of ultra nightmare team eventually. And I'm sure, with a little bit of help of my friends, right, uh, we could figure out some kind of team for an ultra nightmare with the Mytha. But, yeah, I don't know, man. Uh, tricky. Really tricky. On the one hand, I'd love to summon for Demitha. On the other hand, Naya is pretty good, or Nia is pretty good as well. Um, we have been doing Hydra for quite a while now. I don't think I've actually ever showed you guys this, but... We have been actually saving up quite some things. So this is our Jamarsa from that we can summon from doing our referrals, right? We've also been working on Yakarl, as you can see. So we're almost halfway there. And uh, Mithrala has 24 fragments collected. So we've been doing this for about, what is that then? Six weeks, I guess. Because I've been getting four every single time, which is pretty lucky. But... um. Yeah, six weeks of Mithrala so far. Um, I have done my Hydra this week again. Got the thing done with two keys. It's just bottom chest, but that's enough to get these fragments and some extra goodies, right? So that's pretty neat. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of debating now, man. Like... Maybe I don't save for that 2x, and maybe I just like pull 3 now. 
and pull three tomorrow off stream then and uh let's see what what would we get if we actually pull six of these so that's 720 points that would put us over a thousand mm. nothing super interesting right i guess energy is really good right now though since we are so low on energy that chicken would be very nice, but there's no way I'm going to get this thing. Um, actually, I'll have to show you guys something as well. Because so, I said I was going to get four of these Lizardmen dudes, but eventually... I don't know how I got all these guys, but I have six of them now. So, um, yeah, we're not going to be building all six of these or anything, but I guess they're good as faction guardians here, right? So... I will definitely build at least one of these at some point. Um, and so far, they seem to be a pretty decent champion. So um, it's pretty cool. Yeah, what do we want to do first? We also have some live arena. I could, I guess I could go in here and show you guys what my live arena experience is like. Because I've heard some people been having some trouble with that with their only voids account. But to me, it's been... I don't know. Uh, sometimes inaccessible, I guess, and sometimes you beat people that you see are clearly whales, and that's pretty satisfying, then, right? So um, let's see what happens here. So. This one has a high level already, which is not promising. Because level does tell you something about the player. It means they've been playing for a while, so it means they probably will outspeed you. Now, this one's not... I guess they'll pick Arbiter as their last one. Which I will ban if that is the case. Because I do want to go first. Okay, no Arbiter. Then I'm getting rid of this guy because I heard he's pretty busted. I'll probably get rid of my Skull Crown. Yeah. Unfortunately, because that's really... That would have been really helpful here. But this guy is built pretty fast, as you can see. Yeah, we got everyone... Down on their cooldowns, which is awesome. Get rid of this guy. We'll do this. And we're going to get rid of that guy. Should probably try and freeze here. No, didn't get the freeze. But now we can do this and get the AoE. That's pretty good. Oh, we didn't get the AoE? I guess I had to do it again then or something. Alright, well, this guy is down too. Alright. Now we just have the two supports to deal with, right? I mean, Rockney can swing too if he's built that way. But, but this player, as you can see, they have not put the time into farming gear at all they have the champions but they do not have the gear because i i'm swinging through this look at this 28 i should never be able to do twenty-eight thousand with her in a lifesteal set that's ridiculous that is not okay at all all right so now it's just the single brockney which can still be very scary don't get me wrong yeah, but they left. Okay, so there you go. There's a, a battle won. We're actually saving up for um, for this, basically, just to get a little bit more damage going here. Um, this only runs up to level 6, so plus 12%, but we do want to try and get that. So, a thousand. We need quite a few, right? That was, like, I'd say, like, an average battle of my... Like you can see, I have a lot of defeats too, but we have some victories here and there. 
Um, battled this player twice last time. Here they banned my skull crown, and here they didn't, so here they got punished for it. Yeah, and sometimes you get these players, right? Like, I have, you know, <laughs> what do you do here? Elva. I think I banned, what's his name, Pytheon from this player, and they still had all these, so it's like, eh. Some funny stuff happened in Arena, actually, too, this week. So, like, here you had this one... This one screenshot, this is basically in arena, so I'm, I'm like looking down for teams and I I just fought this Coco Puffs and then I look above there and it's Coco Puffs for you. Like, and these are two different clans, two different players, I think. <laughs> and they just have, they just happen to have the same name basically and are one rank apart from each other or in the list at least, in my attack list, right? Not in the rankings, but uh, in, in my attack list, they were like, so, yeah, I thought that was pretty funny. And there was something else, actually. Uh, let me see here. Oh, here you go. So this guy, a Russian player, um, shout out to you if you are actually watching this. I assume you are because, well, your name is only Voids and you're level 37 and you're using only Voids. And, well, that's the name of this whole... Thing. So I guess, I mean, I assume you actually are watching me too. So uh, I see you. I see you right there. Thank you for the support. And uh, pretty cool to just, you know, bump into things like this. Now, this was not on um, my Only Voids account that I bump, ran into this account. This was actually on the referral account for a viewer that I'm still slowly doing. It's like... 40, level 43 now or something so it's it's getting there it's getting there but you know um here and there when we have time we try to do the farming on it right so and yeah in arena i stumbled across this this uh this player right here so yeah pretty cool stuff i thought anyway that's all kind of random i know but th like i said this week hasn't really been that you know exciting i don't have like this super team to show you or whatever except for the one team that um our viewer built obviously the the clan boss team um if you're interested in that by the way in how that player actually obtains these speeds and these these tunes i highly suggest you go check out bronco's channel and uh there's a discord he has posted there somewhere um called the speed tuning council um you can find all the information about some kind of tool that you can use to make your own teams this way um but if you're like not sure or whatever you can also just f uh, come to my discord i'll post a link in the description and we have like an only void section and i briefly talk about this or ask about this basically with uh, the user and he, he gives up a little brief explanation of what you have to do to kind of obtain these speeds. Now, um, I don't know how waterproof they are or whatever, but like so far they've been relatively good, right? They, they work relatively good only for ultra nightmare. The last ones he gave me, they didn't work for some reason. Maybe I did something wrong. I don't know. But, um, other than that, they've been on point. So that's pretty cool. I don't really want to keep you guys up too much longer because it's I you know there's not that much to say it I want to brabble on for too long so we are going to do three pulls of this and get ourselves a Chris scroll quick so that we can you know get something to six star yeah uh no I don't know man I, I think I'm probably gonna just pull these three and then maybe go for Demitha anyway tomorrow even though you know, 2x is on the way. My calculations say 2x is still going to be like four weeks at least. I think closer to five probably before we actually have a 2x. So, yeah, it's maybe not the smartest thing to do, but I also just really want something better to work on, basically, right? So, yeah, I'm going to... 
go ahead and pull three here for you guys to see. There's an epic. I mean, <laughs> he's good for faction wars. Uh, I don't know how good he's going to be for me in general. Maybe for like Doom Tower, because he is pretty tanky. He does have a provoke, right? It's a 75% chance and also places increased defense on himself. Uh, he has this on a four turn when booked, places strengthen and continues heal buff on all allies for two turns. And you, when you're, you know, fighting uh, very hard waves in a doom tower. And then this is a... 45% chance of placing a decreased speed buff for for two turns and has a 45% chance of placing a stun instead when he's counteracting with this skill. So I guess he has some kind of counterattack here. Receives 20% less damage from en enemies under provoke debuffs. That's pretty cool. Has a what is that? 50% chance of counterattacking when an, an enemy under provoke debuff attacks either this champion or an ally. Okay, so he provokes everyone, or at least try, tries to with a 75%, right? Um, they attack into him, he immediately counterattacks them, and has a chance to stun them. 45% chance to stun them. And that is actually, you know, yeah, he, he probably gets pretty good ratings, and I can see that being the case. The biggest issue with this guy is not that he's not good. It's that he needs 7, 14, 15, 20 Epic Tome skills. 20. And I guess you could say, well, you can not ascend him, and then he only only needs 15. That's still a lot, right? I mean, imagine booking this guy out, and then obviously being out of skill tomes, and then you pull like a Maneater or Demitha. You're going to kick yourself in the shin, because you really want the books then, right? Because, yeah. I don't know, man. I probably wouldn't uh, ever book this guy. Maybe like try to get this to a four turn or something to have it be a little more viable. But other than that, I would probably never book this guy. Nah, no shot. Um, increases ally defense in Doom Towers by 30%. So there you go. That's what I said. He's probably pretty damn good in Doom Tower to kind of control the waves and help your team stay alive, right? Like have everyone focus him instead of the rest of your team. I think for something like that, and Curse City, obviously, going to be really good. But yeah, I don't know. Not super excited, but also not sad about this. Because, I mean, it's a Void Epic. We'll take that. We definitely take Void Epics. So, All right, enough about that. Another Epic. Bro, you got to be kidding me. Dude, I I didn't click on her. What the hell? Like, Eurogram is tomorrow. I get two epics, and they're both not this one. I don't know if I want to pull any shards anymore now. To be honest, like, what are the odds that I'm going to pull more epics than those two that I just pulled? Man, are you kidding me? I mean, I guess Faction Wars is a joke now, right? Uh, let's... Let's take a look at our faction. Is Faction Wars open by any chance? It is not. Um, so we have Eurogrim, Rock Beast, Eurogrim, Prundar, and. 
I mean, I guess we could work on gear grinder and we'd have ourselves a squad, right? So like double Eurogrim, Rock Beast, Rundar, and a gear grinder. I think they should be able to do it, no? A lot of support, but also a lot of damage from poisons. Plus the provokes here. Keep those cleansers busy while the Eurogrims just poison everyone to death. Yeah, that's wild, dude. That is absolutely wild. We pulled two epics. And one of them is a dupe. And like... Even funnier, like Ogren Tribes has like Skrank, which is amazing. I guess Towering Titan isn't that great either, right? So it could have been him, but it could also have been like, I don't know, maybe like this guy, maybe. Just a thought, just a thought. Maybe we, maybe we could have pulled this guy, you know, maybe that would have been fun. Uh, dude. Okay, but here's the thing, though, right? Double Eurogrim is probably a very safe duo for, like, farming Dragon 20, uh, Ice Golem 20, that kind of stuff, right? Because one is kind of iffy uh you do need some pretty decent stats to start doing that kind of stuff but two may actually be a lot better because they have more continuous heals uh there's just more poisons going off so the mobs are dying faster and all that stuff right so maybe two eurogram will actually help there it's also possible just like front door and eurogram could just do it with the with those two champions. Yeah. Man, that's like I can't be mad. I got two epics. I can't be mad, but it's still kinda stings, you know? Kinda kinda stinks and kinda stings. But yeah, I'm not I'm not really sure who I six star now. Like maybe I just six star the other Eurogrim and just put two Eurogrims in my clan boss team. Just overload with poisons and just make sure the, the clan boss has poisons on the whole the full bar the whole time. I do know those were not the pools that were on my mind, that's for sure. Rundare. How many books do I have? Yeah, see, I couldn't even book this guy if I wanted to. We only have 15 books. I guess I could book him the way he is now and then not book his passive. Hmm. I wonder, though, if, like how much that'll help me because right now i don't really know where i would use this guy other than doom tower and faction wars there's not really an area i guess maybe we can see what they say about him arena defense arena offense campaign whatever faction wars he gets a good rating which is you know i can see that minotaur who cares dragon oh, maybe dragon i guess i want to start doing dragon 25 or whatever i don't i really don't know man spider's den that's a weird one 
Like, I can't see myself... Well, I guess if he would have resistance, he could probably provoke the Spiderlings and have him be the target. But we really don't need that with a Kafru, right? Kafru can do the same thing a lot easier. Just put up unkillable, taunt, ta-da. Don't really need that there. Demon Lord, we absol absolutely do not need him for. These keeps, I don't care about. Fire Knight... Don't see him being great there. See, Hydra was somewhere I was thinking he might be okay because he actually has a Provoke and he has some buffs to keep the team alive. So that was actually a place I was thinking of, hmm, that might help us. He also has the decreased speed on the A1. So it's weird that he gets this kind of rating there. Yeah, I don't know, man. He looks like one of those champions I'll probably five star and keep there for a long time until I really have to build them. It's really unfortunate, but I think I'd build a second Eurogram before I actually build this Prundar. Maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. We'll figure it out this week, but yeah. Um, yeah, that's going to be it for this week. I'm afraid. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be pulling these shards now that I pulled two epics because I don't I don't feel like I'm going to be pulling any more epics so like there's no 2x chance or anything and we just pulled two epics so uh, if these were like rares then I would definitely pull tomorrow for the Demitha but now I just feel like there's there's no shot that I'm pulling another one right um, like maybe we'd pull a legendary and get a Chris out of it or something but um yeah, progressive chance is a scam, as you can see anyway. So, <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for joining me again this week. Um, yeah, again, if there's anything you want me to do or enjoy about this whole thing we're doing here, this whole series, uh, be free to comment down below and I'll be glad to reply to all your comments. And uh, yeah, hope you guys have a nice weekend. See you guys next week. Peace.